gear rapid engagement sling. So what is it? It is an adjustable two point sling. Um, the way I run them is with QD connectors. I run it just on the beginning of the rail here and off the end plate on the lower half. Uh, after trying various different sling types and mounting options, this is what I've decided I like the best. Uh, it is adjustable with this hardware here. You tighten it by pulling on that strap there. You loosen it by pulling on the 550 cord here. Um, I prefer this adjustment uh, quite a bit over some others that I've used, including the, the Magpulse, for example. I really don't like their adjustment system. Um, I find it to be difficult to use, whereas this one I find to be very simple. Um, I have two of these slings, and I have been using them for about a year and a half. And I have found them to be very reliable, very durable, um, through everything that I've, that I've used them for. They have been on several different rifles. So this is uh, one that I've been running lately. Uh, here's the second one. is set up on one of my other rifles right now. And they do work very well if you're going to bunch them up with a rubber band on the end there for just keeping the sling from getting hung up on stuff, whether that's the gun going in and out of a gun safe or going in and out of a vehicle, for example. Um, they work very well in this configuration. And then you just break them out of that and the sling is ready to go. Uh, I have run these slick, as you'd see here. Um, they work very well in that configuration, just running, if I go to the range and I'm just gonna shoot a few rounds off and I have no extra equipment on me, maybe a magazine in my back pocket, it works very well in that configuration. Uh, I've run them in conjunction with a chest rig and then also in conjunction with a chest rig over a plate carrier. So this is a chest rig setup that I've used in conjunction with the sling. It's worked very well paired with that. And then this is the plate carrier setup that I run this sling in conjunction with. And with any of these things, when I add the plate carrier, I do have to open up the sling a bit, um, but it does work very well as far as keeping this gun in a manageable position if I want to just sling the gun and let it hang. Um, and I found it to pair very well with things as far as not getting hung up uh, at any of the attachment points. Um, it hasn't caught on to any of my equipment thus far, and it's been very easy to tighten and loosen as I need it to. So the way I, I came into finding this sling was I actually found the maker of it on Instagram and saw a picture of one of his slings and I was interested in it. And he agreed to send me one to try out to see if I liked it. So he didn't charge me anything to try out the sling, but the agreement was that if I liked it, then I would send him the money to pay for it. And that's what I ended up doing. And when I was done testing the first sling, I actually ended up sending him enough money to pay for the first sling and buy a second sling because I liked it that much. Um, what I like about this sling is it does all of the things I want it to do. Uh, it's modularity as far as switching it from one gun to the other with the QD connectors. Uh, the way that it adjusts I find to work very well for what I need. <clears throat> and then I find it doesn't have anything extra that I don't want. So I don't need a sling that converts from a single point to a two point. I don't need a shoulder pad on the sling that may or may not sit in the appropriate place on my shoulder. I just need a durable sling that adjusts and will attach to a weapon in this configuration. That's exactly what this sling does. Uh, it comes in the, you know, the variety of colors that you might expect uh, from any sling manufacturer. The stitching looks very good and none of it has come loose. The materials that he's used uh, appear to be you know, strong enough. Nothing's broken. The, the hardware that he's using, the polymers or whatever that wherever he's sourcing this from has been durable enough to not fracture under any of the abuse that I put it under. Um, the QD connectors he's using have held on. They haven't ever come out of the, the slots when they weren't intended to. Um, he did a good job with melting the ends. So whenever he cuts something, um, his melting job is very good. Nothing has begun to fray at all on it. 
Um, and I like the fact that, you know, you can talk to the person who made it. So it's not a, a big company mass producing slings. If I want to ask a question to the person who stitched this sling, I can do that. And so you get a lot of the features out of this sling that you get out of some name brand slings and you save a decent chunk of money. Um, and that's the other thing I like about the sling is the price point on it. So I'm not going to quote a price because I don't know if his prices may change over time. Um, but I see this sling doing everything that I would want from a Haley Strategic sling, for example, for probably about half of the cost to have the same functionality. Um, so if you wanted a Haley sling with the QD connectors, I think you're looking at 100-ish. Um, I think you'll find this sling to be significantly less expensive, but every bit is durable. The entire package is also extremely lightweight. I mean, you've got the weight of the QD connectors is really the only thing here that's not featherweight about this sling. Everything else, you hardly know that it's there, so you're not adding any weight to your weapon package that way. Um, I'll put the information as to how to reach the manufacturer in the links below. Um, I also tend to tag him a lot in my Instagram, so if you follow me there, you'll see tags for him. Uh, if you go get one, let him know I sent you. I'm not going to get anything for it, uh, but it'd be nice for him to know that uh, the time he spent talk chatting with me uh, had some return on it. And like I said, I've been running this for a year and a half, so this isn't something that I took out for a weekend and now I'm telling you it's good to go. Like I have been abusive to these for a year and a half and they are both still holding up great. Um, I might actually purchase more of them at some point just to have one for each gun because right now I do tend to have to switch, you know, take a sling, switch it to a different rifle for the day. Um, at some point I might invest in a few more of these.